Hi, I'm Ruth. I get to teach design and production in glass, which I absolutely love. It's a bit of a mixture of art and technology. It comes under technology, but it's also got a really good, strong art streak in it as well. And most of you have probably never played with glass in your life, but it's so much fun. Some of the things we've done, like there's some lost wax casting here that students have been doing, and they carve things in wax and create little fun things. So this is actually a mushroom. We've just got it out of the moulds and now we're waiting to clean it up and we'll cut off the extra bits. And they also get to make some really cool stuff in the kiln, like these little doovies. These are coasters, but they're pretty rough, so you probably wouldn't put your cup on them. It's probably about three quarters hands-on doing stuff and about a quarter is theory. But the theory is stuff that's relevant to what you're doing. So you'll be looking at how you do lost wax casting, what is the process, how you design your piece. So it kind of overlaps nicely in stuff that's real. If you're not confident with some of the art side of things, a lot of it is learning how to do things logically, use interesting tools to carve glass, crush glass, cut things with hacksaw type machines. There's some great machines. It builds your confidence and it's good for kids of all types and backgrounds and abilities. So just come in and Hi everyone, I'm Gordon Clark. I'm the metal man at Hobart College. So that is design and production metal, which is a level two course. We do have some level three students that join the course and are doing object design, but predominantly it's a level two course with no previous background required. The course entails doing two or three small projects. Initially, I will give students a design brief. First project in the last couple of years, we have made a small stainless steel bottle opener with a laminated wooden handle and brass pins. And that it's been presented in a display box. A couple of other small jobs also, and then uh, predominantly the rest of the year is taken up with students working on a major project. That major project can be anything you are interested in. It might be a piece of machinery you're working on at home that you can bring into the workshop and uh, modify. It could be a go-kart, it could be a toolbox for the back of your ute. A couple of students this year have done some forging, so we're making knives in the forge, and also we are getting into some jewellery making. But the main the major project involves designing, drawing, costing, sourcing materials and then the steps of production. Hi, my name is Rod. I teach design and production wood and run the construction pathways program up here at Hobart College and have done so for about the last 20 years. Design and production wood is a level two subject which will give you 15 points towards your TCE. The people who enrol in the course could either have done a wood subject at high school or just want to have a go at another subject totally different than what they're used to. We do some basic introductory projects at the start, which leads on to a free choice project once you feel like you're comfortable to uh, progress to that level. Uh, we have a really well-equipped uh, workshop with modern equipment and a real emphasis on safety, which could cater for any type of projects you might want to undertake. Yeah, I think you'd really enjoy this subject. It's a fairly friendly environment. If you're really keen to become a builder, Certificate 2 in Construction Pathways is a good way to start, which really is the entry level into the building industry or the building trades. The building industry at the moment's uh, doing quite well, and we've had a lot of success over many years of placing people into the uh, building industry and into, into apprenticeships. It's not all workshop based. We have to do a lot of theory, so be prepared to spend some time in the workshop and online as part of the course, bearing in mind that there is an interview process to get into this course. Hopefully I'll see some of you up here next year. Hi, I'm Lena and I run the Design and Production Textile course at Hobart College. It's not just about sewing on the sewing machine, although you can do that if you want to. We work to a design brief, which means you can take any of these areas and make them your focus for the course. The first area that we cover is the craft and design section. So in this area we might be working with threads, crocheting, or you might decide that embroidery is your thing. Another area of the textile course is working with costume design. We do have some students that pick the course purely because they like working with stage and designing costumes. One of the most popular areas of textiles is the fashion area. We like to recycle and reuse, which is why the program doesn't cost a lot of money. So you might decide to take a daggy pair of jeans from the tip shop for $2 and create something wonderful with it like so. Or you might want to get a little bit more sophisticated and this jacket is something else that just came from the tip shop. And I've taken a curtain and appliqued something on the front, then taken a pillow slip and trimmed it. You also might be wanting to do the course because of interior design. You might like to be working with colours and cushions like 
this one. So we could do stenciling, fabric painting. See, so we've got a calico bag here. Students done some nice fabric painting. We also do things like stenciling. And this student, for example, has taken a piece of music and put it onto their bag design. You might decide that doing things with dyes is what you want to do. This one's just been done using bleach. You could do this program without ever having done this course at school. The level two is all about having some fun and deciding whether this is a course that you'd like to do the following year as a level three with object design. So if you enjoy making, this is the course for you. Hi, I'm Nathan. I'm the automotive teacher here at Hobart College. What we deliver here is a certificate to an automotive, which is a nationally recognised qualification. The course consists of 12 units ranging from workplace safety, small engine repair, vehicle servicing and electrical diagnosis. Students who complete the course are then issued a certificate to an automotive, which can then lead to an apprenticeship in the automotive industry. Hi, my name's John. I teach computer graphics and design and housing and design here at Hobart College. The course is offered at two levels, one at level two and one at level three. Essentially, the course is designed for those students who've got a fascination and interest in designing, designing particular products. There's no prerequisites for the level three course, um, but if you've got a background in, in 3D modelling, that, that is essential. Level two course is a foundation for the level three, and we basically cover basics from character animation to 3D modelling. Housing design is a subject that is really orientated to those who've got a real interest in architecture and also interior space. The course does not require you to have any sort of prior knowledge in relation to it, but really someone who has a real passion for interior and exterior design. And some of the projects we do are based around solar passive principles and sustainability. For example, a shack in a certain location and making it thermally comfortable. The course also looks at interior design and it looks at colour schemes and floor layout. Hopefully I'll see you next year in Year 11, if not Year 12. Hi everyone, my name's Tiffany. I teach the Certificate 2 in Salon Assistant course here at Hobart College. This course is excellent if you would like to pursue a pathway through to the hair and beauty industry. There's many units that we do. A few of them are braiding, colour application, shampooing, head, neck and shoulder massage and also financial transactions and selling products to your customers. If you complete this course, it's an excellent pathway into the Fast Track Certificate in hairdressing at TAS TAFE or alternatively to get an apprenticeship in a salon. I will help to guide you through to work placement in a suitable salon and also guide you through the process of your career pathway. I hope to see you all in 2021. I'm Tom, teaching Electro Technology here at Hobart College. The Certificate 2 in Electrotechnology course basically comprises of 11 units and those units uh, range from solving DC problems through to occupational health and safety and everything in between. Approximately 80% of the course is theory based and approximately 20% would be practical based. A student that completes this course would be looking to get into the electrical industry as an electrical apprentice or could even take you further down the path into electrical engineering. Typical industries that you would be working in after completing this certificate would be the building industry, whether that be commercial or industrial or possibly in power generation. Historically, approximately 40% of the class complete the full certificate with most receiving apprenticeships in the electrical industry and a number of those apprenticeships uh, gained before the end of the year. This is not a course that you will complete without significant effort. It does require your attention and commitment.